your trusty old letterbox. If it could speak, it would probably say something like, I'm so lonely. I never get letters anymore. I mean, every so often I get a bill or junk mail, but nobody ever writes to me just because they want to write to me. I hate email. Leela, is that you pretending to be the letterbox again? Maybe. I just feel so bad for it. <laughs> okay. You're all right, buddy. Yep. Ever since these fancy digital ways of communicating came along, our letterboxes have been getting lonely. Just last year, 820 million fewer letters were delivered across Australia than the year before. But there was a time when heaps of kids your age were writing letters all the time. Dear Mum and Dad, I'm here writing you a letter and you won't believe it. BTN are here filming me as I write it. Wait a minute. That's not vision from the old days. That's today. It's just in black and white. Get rid of that. Why are you guys writing letters? Richard, what's going on? Have I travelled back in time? Why is everybody writing letters? People are writing letters because they're really enjoying writing letters. So um, I found a World Letter Writing Day in 2014 and I go to schools and I teach kids about writing letters and they're loving it. Yep, Richard wants to bring back letters. He reckons a handwritten letter is a really good way to communicate because unlike emails or instant messages, which you can write and send off really quickly, you really have to think about what you're going to say. Another nice thing about letters is that people tend to keep them so they can be a really interesting window into the past. Whether it's a letter written by a soldier on the battlefield or a letter from a queen to a US president, or a job application from Leonardo da Vinci. Cool. And people use letters to make a real difference. And history's shown as well that, you know, people that write letters can change the world. I know Meghan Markle, when she was just 12, wrote a letter because she saw a TV ad and she thought it was a little bit sexist. And they then went back and, and changed the whole commercial. Write letters and send them to the right people and you can really make a difference. Of course, there are different types of letters. There are formal letters, which you write to someone you don't know very well. They have rules about how they should be set out and the language you should use. For example, you might write, Dear Mr Simpkin, not, Hi Richard, or What's up? But these kids are writing informal letters to their parents, so the rules aren't as strict. But they say they're learning all sorts of things. And they help you with spelling because you have to check them without having auto-check. And Richard reckons that lack of technology is actually good for you. What I'm saying is take a break from social media, pick up a pen or a pencil and write a letter to somebody and you'll feel much better. And your letter could put a smile on someone else's face too. I think it's very nice, um, but and you have to put a lot of thought into it. So when you give the person the letter, it makes them very happy.